Yo, what's going on guys? So, um, this match it was pretty... My first time playing a hacker. Like, um, I totally was not expecting this because, I, I mean, this is mostly a PC thing, right? But, uh, I guess now that we have crossplay, uh, this is probably more common. But I never, you know, playing on, having played on console, I never saw this before. And, uh, yeah, as usual, the guy is usually never that good. And he's, you know, just use the hacks and whatnot. But, uh, it's just funny, though, how players that cheat are never actually, like, usually good, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I, like, I'm not gonna spoil to you guys, like, where the good stuff happens. Because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but, um, I'll just let you guys see the entire match. And, uh, yeah, I was just quite surprised. I'll just give you some... I actually look up on this guy later, after the game. He's actually a streamer too, which surprised me even more. Like this, that someone would actually stream hacks. Um, and uh, from what I saw, like I can kind of understand. Like he uses the hack to make the streaming, you know, the stream more fun in a way. But uh, it, it's kind of like an Oshido, if you guys remember that Oshido guy. But he does that with hacks. It's pretty much that. Um, I mean, I can kind of see the appeal, but. I, I, the only thing I, I disliked is that uh, he sometimes he will actually like kill the survivors, you know, with the cheats and everything. So it's kind of like why, you know, like I, like I can understand you're like ruining people's games, but you're just kind of having fun. Everyone's having fun. That's one thing. But another you know, thing is when you're actually killing people and you know not just ruining their games, but actually killing them, and you know, causing losses and things like that due to the hacks that you're using. So. Yeah, that's the only problem that I kind of saw with him. If he was just having fun, you know, I guess I could kind of let it slide. But the fact that he actually kills people sometimes, it just kind of, you know, makes it unacceptable. Uh, and he he has that, the, the hack, he's playing killer now, but he actually has the hacks for survivor as well. And it's just like, even worse, uh, you know, for the killer that's playing that match. He just, like, usually the killer's... As soon as they notice that they're hacking, they just give up already, because it's like, there's no point. It completely ruins the game. Uh, especially if they're not playing a squad or anything like that, you know, the other survivors have no idea there's a survivor hacking. I think I actually came up with another hacker at one point. I was playing on Larry's, I remember that, it was a Wraith. And th that was a Fang, and she would, she would just like, have super speed sometimes. I thought it was a bug because she only started doing that in the middle of the match towards the end. So I thought it was a bug that happened that caused that it was just lag. Uh, but now that I see this guy, I feel like it was probably another type of hacker guy that was doing that. He kind of let him kill me at the end uh, on that Larry's match. But um, yeah, so I guess it was not just coincidence that thing happened there as well. So maybe this is the second hacker that I actually came across. And, uh, yeah, it's just, just strange that th this is going on. I have no idea how they make this happen, especially with dedicated servers. They probably have s uh, some program or something that... I mean, I know what they use. I, I looked up... S I know what they use to make this happen, but... I'm assuming the program... Kind of changes their file information or something. And then the server interprets the file the way they want the server to interpret, if you know what I mean. Because... Otherwise, they would have to actually, like, have access to the server of DPD and whatnot. And, you know, and kind of make the server, you know, understand what they want out of their files, which would probably be much harder. So, I'm guessing they probably just, the prop, the, the program probably just makes it so it changes their file. And then, the, it makes the, the server essentially interpret what they want, want it to interpret. Because, did, I mean, I, I'm seeing hacks, uh, you guys have no idea. Because I, I actually seen his screen, you know, I saw the stream and everything. I look, look a little bit, looked a little bit of his past and whatnot. And I mean, I mean, there's just like, literally everything you can imagine. That he has a hack for it. Like, you can see the auras. Like, every single aura, in, and he can see the pallet auras, he can see like, the survivor auras the entire time. In the match, he has like, wider field of view. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... He can change like the values of the add-ons and make make them like insanely overpowered. You know, he can like for example, let's say there's an add-on. I saw him do this once. There's a match he played the plague, and the plague has an add-on for example that extends the duration of her, you know, the red vomit. And he he changed the values of the add-ons so they would multiply by 50 or something. 
So essentially he was using, and he can also use the same atom twice if he wants to. I mean, I'm telling you, like, this, this hacks for literally anything. I, I was really surprised at how many things the guy can change the game with, with a hack like that. It's almost like he was the, the game designer, if you know what I mean. It's crazy, but, um... Yeah, and he, like, used the uh, multiply by 50, the time essentially is inf infinite, you know what I'm saying? Because of the add-on. So the guy would have, like, infinite red vomit the entire game. Or things like that. He has super speed. Like he can anytime increase the speed as the killer and you know catch up to the survivor. He can like teleport in the survivors. He can teleport to doors, to hooks. There's just like literally everything you can imagine. Though there was something about it there. Uh, it was really, really something else. Uh, I'm right here. I'm trying to uh, protect the Steve. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just my thoughts. I uh, I was really surprised about all of this, and I'm quite impressed. There's uh, Things like this going around. Uh, from from what I from what I heard, he actually does get banned a lot. But you know these guys, they would he would actually like have 20 accounts or something like that, just so he can keep hacking. So you know, banning him is really not quite a solution. They would have to probably ban his his internet IP or something like that. That would be more efficient. But, uh, just ban just banning the account is just not stop him from making another one. Uh, so and this guy is actually some someone known for what I could tell because on his stream he was talking about having played with other streamers as well so and that the, the streamers don't like him you know? so I'm guessing you see right there he just teleported that's what that's what I mean whatever okay, I'll let you guys enjoy I mean I saw him do a lot more on, on his actual stream but uh, yeah I was just really surprised it's my thoughts guys and I'll, yeah I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of it and uh, see you guys later take care. Thank <laughs> you. 